This video was sponsored by The Great Courses Plus. Now we'll be going through the topics in the same order as the book, but I'll be presenting my own notes on it. That way you're not just getting identical information twice. Now keep in mind, in the discussion for this section, the spinner Z prime gives the flipped spin of the antiparticle. Professor? Yes. Are you just lecturing from the book word for word? No. Okay, not word for word. Leaving the muon spinners undetermined for now, we can easily... easily okay, compute. yes, yes, I'm reading... Would you rather read this by yourself at your own pace? That actually sounds a lot better. <laughs> oh, no, no, I didn't mean... Sometimes I feel like you don't even want me to read the book. Professor, shh, of course I do, okay? It's not redundant. Wow, so we do get a non-zero contribution. That's interesting. What? Oh, okay. The heck? Oh, I see. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. And using the values that I calculated, that is how the proton gets its spin. Thank, thank you, thank you. And using the values that I calculated, that is how the proton gets its spin. Wrong, wrong. Abs that is bull. That is absolute bullshit. Have you even taken a physics class? I. Uh... I have already proven in 1842 that what you've said is false. Okay, it's well established. Okay, anyone else besides my advisor have a comment? Yes, I did see your calculations in Dropbox. Excellent work. I, I don't think it's too optimistic to say that we could probably get multiple papers out of this. So are you making any progress on the project? Yeah, I mean, what does progress mean exactly, you know? It means are you closer to a solution? I found many examples of what the solution isn't, which if you ask me is, is just as important and, and worth funding. Okay, last lab report. Uh, the uncertainties add in quadrature, giving a net force on the object of 12 plus or minus 0.1 newtons. As expected, the motion is linear with constant acceleration. Perfect. Just one more. Just one more to get through. It speeds up with constant position but not exactly because gravity isn't really 9.8, but 9.8 plus other stuff, and that's the uncertainty. That's the best one so far. Oh, I almost forgot homework for this week. Um, it's just one problem, very similar to the example we did in class. You know, I don't want to take away too much time from your research. Uh, and if you get stuck, I've actually already posted solutions. Now for the homework, you're just going to take exactly what we've been covering in class, the inclined plane, only you're going to solve it for when friction is hyperbolic, in curved space-time, and in six dimensions. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, actually, you're right. That's way too simple. Um, let's generalize this a bit. I actually want you to solve it in n dimensions, and I want you to generalize general relativity into what I call general or relativity and solve it that way. Are you going to post solutions after? No, I don't have time to post solutions, but you can see for yourself if your answer makes sense. If you get that in the limit that WTF goes to zero, that your wonky space should just be equal to curved space. So if you get the general relativity falls out as just the special case of all this, you probably did it right. Hey, professor, how's it going? Did you get to look through my calculations? I, I thought that they looked pretty promising, huh? I don't, well, surely they're not all wrong. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, okay. They're all wrong, everything's wrong. Well, what, what should I do? You really think going back to the basics is, is necessary? All right, all right. Uh, do you have any suggestions on where to start? The Great Courses Plus. Hi. <laughs> Huge thanks to The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video. They have been a massive supporter of this channel for a while now, and it really helps me justify the amount of time I spend making these videos when I should probably be working on my PhD instead. Uh, if you don't know, The Great Courses Plus is a subscription-based online video learning service with over 11,000 video lectures for you to choose from. 
And if you're like me and you've seen Into the Universe one too many times and you'd like something new, The Great Courses Plus has no shortage of physics videos and lectures for you to go through. My personal favorite is Nuclear Physics Explained, though I'm a bit biased because it's lectured by one of my previous physics professors, Dr. Lawrence Weinstein. It's a great video lecture series. I really suggest you check it out. And you can get started with a free trial by either clicking the link in the description or going to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash Andrew Dotson. Thanks again for supporting this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section if you did, and I'll see you there.